Okay, getting ready to fit the outer cover uh, on the, uh, the timing case outer cover onto the engine. And uh, all we need to do before we fit it is to put this oil seal in where the uh, point or ignition system goes. Uh, and this is an oil seal obviously to stop oil coming out of the timing cover. And so it goes in with the open side that way to stop the oil coming out. The only thing item of note is that uh, this oil seal goes on to, it fits around the end of the um, exhaust uh, camshaft. And when you're putting the whole thing on with this in the case, it's very easy because you're now putting the open side in first, it's very easy to catch the lip on the uh, cam and damage it you know if you're putting the seal on that way and then look, it goes on no trouble but because you're putting it on that way around the lip going in first it catches on the end of here and can damage it so i've got a very simple little special tool which is this one and it screws in to the end of the camshaft where the points uh, advanced retard normally goes and when you put the cover on it simply help slide that oil seal on, make sure it doesn't get damaged. And then you simply unscrew that when the cover's back on. Okay, so I'm gonna put well seal on now. Um, well, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put the oil seal in the cover, then well seal on both, and then cover on. Right, uh, so well seal's uh, on, gasket's in place, put a bit of oil around the uh, exhaust camshaft so that the and and on the seal make sure it doesn't run dry when you first start the engine uh, I've got the uh, special tool in place so hopefully you should just slide the cover on now and then we can and then we can bolt it up and there we go then we've got the uh, various cover screws got three long ones and all the others are, are short the three long ones go at the bottom and so I'll put those in and then uh, and that's the outer cover basically in position and there we go the timing covers on uh, so uh, this is the triangle aperture that we use for strobe timing because that rotor that's got the marks on it as they come past that's what we use to time do the ignition timing and then in here would have been the advance and retard and the uh, points originally but it will be electronic ignition right i'm just getting ready to uh, roughly set the uh, electronic ignition the boyer branson ignition that was on the bike when it came so the first thing i've done is to remove this timing plug from the front of the crankcase. And then I've got a little special tool. You don't need this, but it helps. A little special tool that screws in in its place. And this tool has a plunger that slides in and out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna screw this in place with the, the plug. Doesn't have to go in far. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the engine over until this plunger goes into a slot in the crankshaft. Now, when they made the engines, they very sensibly, cleverly made um, a drilling in the crankshaft that lines up with this hole at exactly 38 degrees before top centre for the, uh, the right-hand side piston. So when it's on compression stroke, you need to make sure it's on compression stroke, that's why this, this helps, you can actually time the thing 180 degrees out because it could be on um, it could be on the top of exhaust stroke but you want it on the top of compression stroke uh, I'll turn the engine over forwards so I'll keep some pressure here with my finger on that pin I know that we're on compression stroke okay and I'll just keep turning the engine over I'm turning it over with my left hand on the crankshaft mm -hmm. there there that's it it's slotted in and it's gone into that hole in the crankshaft and that tells me that this 
Right hand piston is now at 38 degrees before top dead center. And I don't know if you can see on the camera yet that that's the timing mark that is now absolutely in the center of that aperture to confirm that that is 38 degrees before top dead center on the right hand cylinder. And that is the timing mark. Yeah, it's a B timing mark. That's the one that we'll be using with the strobe. But the, uh, so the timing is now set at 38 degrees and I'm going to, as it's Boyer Branston, each of these is different, of course. The instructions for Boyer Branston are to set this at exactly uh, 90 degrees. I'll check that because of course the engine is um, slanted forward. So I do need to check whether they mean in line with the timing case or horizontal, but it's set at one of these. It doesn't matter which of these magnets on the back plate on the rotor, because this is by Branston and by Branston uses what's called a wasted spark system. So that all, I think I'm right in saying, yeah, that all the um, cylinders fire at the same, at the same time, whether they need it or not. So they, every time one fires, the other two fire as well, wasted spark. So it doesn't matter which of these three, because uh, when one fires, it's going to be the right one for this because they're all the same. Okay. And then that little bolt screws in and it's going to hold the rotor in the right. Yeah. So it is uh, in line with the, uh, Top of the timing case not horizontal so that's about uh, so one of the magnets needs to be at about horizontal in line i mean in line with the top of the casing and that's pretty much about it i'd say so then i just tighten up the center screw hold it nicely in place There we go. And so that's the basic timing. Of course, when the engine started, we'll be setting it exactly with a strobe, <clears throat> but this is basic engine timing. And then we're going to fit the, uh, the stator plate. I mean, this is an old system. And to be honest, we may, it might be replaced with a, with a newer system, but we'll put this one in for now. And if we want to put a, <coughs> a newer system in, we can. Right, so that's the rotor plate fixed on. And now we're going to put the uh, magnet uh, pickup plate on. Not sure quite what you call it. And uh, as Boyer Branson, what we've got is a little hole here. And it says in the instructions that you should just be able to see the top of this magnet through just appearing at the top of that hole. And that should be the timing set so let's get the torch I can't see your magnet there we go uh, there <clears throat> now that should be the timing roughly set but of course it's not that accurate and so that's why when we get the bike started, we can, uh, we'll be putting it and uh, doing the strobe timing. It's held in by these three pillar bolts, which will tighten up, but we've only got two at the moment. I need to get another one, because if you remember, it was all broken this before. And then <clears throat> there's the hole here, which goes through, comes out the back of the timing case. And that's where the wires go <clears throat> from the coils and the, uh, ignition box the brains of the system up into these pickups here okay but that uh, that's there for now i'll just put it in loosely for now and then very loosely i'll put the outer cap on outer cover i say loosely because um we're missing a pillar bolt and i'm missing half this well i'm missing i think two two of the screws to put this on I think I've only got one screw. But we'll put it on just for looks. There we go. I need to get some more screws because we're missing we're missing screws and pillar bolts and so on. But that's 
basically roughly set. And then when you've done that, don't forget to remove the plug. And then we'll put the, uh, or rather remove the special tool and put the plug back in, which I'm about to do now. Again, I'll put some Loctite on it as a seal and we'll put that plug back in again. And that's the timing roughly set, but it will be set properly uh, with a strobe when the engine's running. <laughs> 